This is Gary with MacMost. Let's take a look at how to schedule messages to be sent later on your iPhone. So this is a new feature in iOS 18 and also of course in iPad OS 18 and Mac OS Sequoia. Here's how it works on the iPhone. You can type a message first if you like and then normally you would tap right here to send it. But instead, if say I wanted to send this tomorrow morning, I could tap the plus button to the left and then select send later. Now you can see at the top here it says when it's going to send it. The default for the time I'm sending it right now is today at 5 p.m., the end of the workday. But I could change that to a different date and I could set it to a different time. So I can make this message send tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. And now when I tap the send button it won't send. You can see the message looks different there and it says it's going to send it later and has the time. And notice that you're still in send later mode. It still says tomorrow 9 a.m. So if I were to type another message that one would also get sent right after the first. And if I send this one you can see it just lines up right under that one. But I can tap here and then change the time. So I can have another message and have this one sent at a different time. Like that. And you can see them lined up right there. By the way, if you like these videos, you can join the more than 2,000 others that support MacMost at Patreon. You get exclusive content, course discounts, and more. You can read about it right here. Now, since these haven't been set yet, you can edit and change them. So, for instance, if I wanted to change this one, I could tap and hold the message itself and then I could delete it or edit it. And if I were to edit it, I could change whatever the text says. You could also change the time on any of these. Just tap the little edit button right there and you could delete the message from here as well or you could send it right now or edit the time and change when this particular message gets sent. So a lot of possibilities here. For instance, you may want to create a message and have it be sent at the end of the day but then later on decide you just want to send it now or send it a bit earlier and you could do that. Notice also when I swipe from right to left I see the times of my previous messages like before but I also see the times of messages to be sent in the future. Now if I want to keep these scheduled but send a message to that person right now all I need to do is simply tap the little X there and I'm back in normal mode. Anything that I were to type and send right now would be sent now and these still will be scheduled for later. You can also use send later in replies. You can tap and hold a previous message just like before and then select reply and then with the reply you still can choose send later. So you can reply to a specific message to have it grouped under the initial one and still have it scheduled. And send later even works in other places. For instance here if I want to take this message here and forward it to somebody I can choose more and with that selected I can forward it to another person and guess what? Yep, I could have that sent later as well. This works the same way on iPad OS 18 and also in Mac OS Sequoia. Here's how you do it in Sequoia. You would go to the Messages app and type the message and you still have that same plus button. You just click it with your pointer there and you get the Send Later options. Everything looks like it should look in Mac OS instead of iOS but the functionality is the same. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.